Alright. Okay. This is going to be testing out the locker. No welding whatsoever. Just had two extra accidents. And of course, I got to hold the brake on here. Alright. And these are on bear claws. I'm going to show you how to work. I gotta go lower gear when I'm going to turns. That's what I don't like about these tires. Alright guys, so this is the overview over. The newest addition is these lights, just because those lights aren't very bright, so we had to add those ones. But uh, last two I got indicator lights on the side. Uh, brakes are hooked up now. If you want me to do a review of anything on this, I'll show you. It's just a MST-206. Uh, I used the shifter linkage thing, welded the bar or MST handle onto it, angled it over, cut off where I wanted it. So it's nice and tucked, so it's not like way up here like before. And uh, everyone's doing this toolbox thing on the back. I've had it on here for a long time. And also everyone's doing the ammo box. I've tried taking the ammo box off so no one else thinks no one else would do it, but uh, as you can tell, I freaking tried. I pried on it and pried on it and pried on it and didn't get nowhere. But uh, right now the welding wire, but like I said, my truck battery's right here. And this is my muffler I put on there. And it's welded all the way around on both sides and it comes out of that pipe. The way my exhaust is ran. There, put it on. It's got a nice bend. And a nice bend. There's my brakes, and it goes up to a bigger pipe, and then up, and then up to a smaller one. So it gives it that nice rumble. But okay, everyone tries to. I try to explain this. A big block Vanguard. Okay, a stock motor would be like right here, and it would end about right here. And the flywheel wouldn't be this big. I have a 
queen size flywheel on mine as that's what it takes it's got two mag it's got two magnets on it so it fires two times per rotation and no one understands that and I've tried to explain that but that's how that's in it's got a fuel pump on her she's got a manual fuel shaft she's got a regular um I haven't got around yet to changing this fuel filter to a one per pump still a gravity fed one but the newest addition the bear claws they tuck up underneath the fender just perfect and everyone knows that little gal transmission mount I made this one it's a piece of angle coming up or piece of flat stock coming up low to the center support down here and I have another support right here so it's a double support for that one little bracket weld this side weld right here weld right that and weld over here so that way it's got to play and that's my shifter like that's reverse neutral first second third fourth fifth six and uh that's about it she's got two springs on her. she's got a trampoline spring and the stock spring on it belt tensions not so great but she don't slip and i'd rather the belt slip a little bit than the transaxle break because i've had too much of that crap but uh you know like i said i just got done hauling that grill over here that dude just came outside but uh and uh the guy was kind of rushing me so i had to go pick it up quick so i was in the process of welding a piece of support right here and basically couldn't get a good weld, kept flipping the breaker. So I kind of got pissed, vice gripped it. I got that piece just to stick on there just enough that I could pull it back. But since I put my battery on my hitch and made a box coming out from it, originally this is where a chain goes, but the strap's here just because the winch it to ratchet it into this piece to lock it so I can vice grip it. So that's how that one's held, if anybody asks. But what I did for my uh, rear hitch, rear bumper, also I got this bumper up here. But these are more of grab bars, and these ones are more of a bumper. Don't hit your shin on it, I'll tell you that. But uh, one thing I did was piece, two pieces of angle iron. I welded them together. I had an extra piece right here for uh, not the best welds, but they work. Well, that's not that bad. But anyways, you get the point. Uh, weld a piece on that. Weld all the way around here to all these other spots. Uh, and it's it's, a piece, it's bed frame angle iron, so it's got a little, it's got the square stamps in it. So the only thing I had to do was cut it out and basically make it to where it's twice as thick on the bottom, and it's got an angle support going to the back corners and. Basically, either stick a screwdriver in there or uh, a little bolt with a nut. And the reason why this is cut out right here is for the hitch to go through and rotate, and it works. So originally I had it right here, but then I moved it back over because it's more centered there when I thought it was like right here. But okay, that part's done. I got that explained. Fully wise. Four inch in the back. It's got the stock craftsman thing the only thing I do is bend it up so the pulley can't drop where the belt can't drop below the pulley what you gotta do if you're gonna do this setup I don't got no light in there I don't think see the battery terminal you're gonna need to buy those if you're gonna have this setup and then you can run everything to those it's a lot easier my ground is just grounded out to my seat and that's basically it it's got switches go lower but you don't know which one to fire them that's my trick I have actually two hidden switches right here that's the main right now. believe it or not the starter I have on this is from a nine horsepower from my buddy Brian and that's about it I'm gonna show you guys how the brakes work real quick if you guys all know, everyone knows, everyone knows my uh, uh, mower brake modification. It's take a standard uh, 
brake disc. Like, one more brake disc. You put a, uh, what was it? 320 grade uh, flap disc on there. Just rough it up, just take the glaze off of it. You can put a couple notches in it if you want with a grinder. And do it the opposite direction that you're mainly gonna be going that you want the main pressure when you stop. And whenever you put you break this back on the pad, lube it so it slides up, up and down and it doesn't get stuck on the shaft and rub on the back brake pad. That's the trick to it, so you don't wear your pads out. But basically, that's the exact brake brake setup. Block bearing doesn't help very much. Okay, like rolling, hit the brakes, it locks up completely. Like. That's what I needed. And that's how it works. Um, I'm going for a route rod look if you guys haven't noticed. Right here, this is so whenever the engine floods. I can get to the spark plug really easy because it's right there. Um, whenever I'm going higher speeds, air can go in right here. And it's a head and loss too. I'm gonna build cover things. Cover things right here to keep water from going up underneath the intake. But every now and then water on the engine's good because it cools it down since these are air cooled. You guys uh, know about the winch. Basically, had it done before. Had it welded directly to this thing. Pull, uh, pull my buddy's Brian's Jeep out of the garage, or not Jeep, uh, Blazer out of the garage, and it did fine. It pulled it out, and then it got tangled because the wire would, if I even put the camera through the right thing, the wire would get stuck right here. So what I did is I lowered, moved it down here, weld it to my regular bumper. And it's not just a bumper welded to it, it's got a bolt running through it too. And I'm tired, I'm gonna stand in the key there. I'll push it back. Yeah, she rolls nice and easy. So, it's got the original thing, and she's got a bolt going through it. Both sides welded, so that way it's to the lower support beam, which is welded to the frame. So, there's that. How I lifted the front end while I locked it is basically basically what we did was cut it, drop it down an inch and an eighth, re-weld it back on there. Now whenever you do that, and that way you can get the the whatever the fuck you want to call it, the uh, tilt in the wheel, the uh, I know what it's called, I just can't think of it right in a second. Basically there's that. The reason why I have these little things on there on both sides because I got a little uh, two-stroke snow blower I put on here and I'll plow some snow with it. But basically, weld, weld, weld. That's just a big washer. And then two pieces of angle iron. The same same uh, thickness that I use on the back. Just cut it down a little bit. And then it's got two rollers for the up and down. And then basically. Basically, it keeps it on this path. It'll still go on the edges and stuff, but it won't go past that lip. That's exactly what I want. Because the other time I was having all the issues. Everyone asks how you run the winches. It's easier to go this way. Is you gotta have the box. The box is waterproof. I've soaked this thing in the freaking sink for overnight and pulled it out, opened it up, and nothing was wet. I re siliconed it, put it back together, and that's where it sits. It sits right underneath the, or the valve cover, and it works good. It doesn't get too hot, nothing doesn't melt, nothing. Just zip tight to the frame, you're good. And I run my wires down, oh crap, I gotta keep the camera this way. Down this way, all the way around, over this, keep my, and basically that. And then this thing, just wrap some electrical tape around it because that's a positive lead with the big uh, like converter type thing and that's set for you now overall I like these tires but then again I don't well 
I'll, I'll have to figure that out because I just got them to uh, yesterday. But uh, one thing I didn't like about them when I was going down the road, hauling that thing back, these were bouncing quite a bit. And I didn't really like that. But uh, it's probably just because they're off road tires. But shit, I don't care. But anyway, okay. Someone asked me to. I didn't really want to say anything about it, but the only thing it is is a stock lawnmower run. Tires mounted. Key through. Actually, I put a. I used a grinder and made another key mark on the side. And uh, used a. What the freaking call it? A bandsaw. Or not a bandsaw. Uh, uh, a hacksaw. I took the blade off, put it through there. 